In this video, we're going to use Microsoft Word Mail Merge to populate a customer bill. Now once again, the key element to completing a successful mail merge is your underlying table. And in this case, our underlying table is called Class Address Table. It is an Excel file. That top row, or the header row, in Database Talk, it's called field names. And those field names describe the records directly beneath them. And in this case, those eight records or eight rows are the names and addresses of our eight customers that will, that will be receiving an electric bill. Once again, top row are field names and each row beneath is commonly referred to as a record. And those records are described by their field names. In this case, in row 4, our customer's first name is Sean. His last name is D.U. He lives at 38 Angel Road, which is his address. His city is Narragansett. State is Rhode Island. His zip. The from date is the beginning point of his bill on September 1st, 2013. The to point is the end point of his bill. So he's being billed from September 1st through September 30th. 1027 represents the pay by date. This is the date that Sean should pay his bill by. His account number is 3. His usage is 150. And the amount that he owes is $150. But once again, this is the key component to our mail merge. It's our underlying table, which is called Class Address Table. Next, we want to take a look at our billing template, which happens to be a Microsoft Word document. The template is called National Grid. And once again, it's a Word document. It is a table. Click over here, you can see our entire table is selected. We have some boilerplate information in our first column. There's information about National Grid, the fact that the bill is an electric bill. We have National Grid's web address customer service number and also their credit number. We also have some blank space that we're going to populate with the customer's name and address. Service 4 and we're going to populate the customer's first name, last name here, address information on the second and third lines. In this cell here, where we have billing period, we're going to have the starting off point for the bill to the end point for the bill. We're going to be listing the customer's account number, the date that he or she must pay the bill by, and lastly, the actual bill amount. So let's begin to populate our billing template. How we go about that is that we're going to use mail merge. And we're basically going to populate into this document the information from our underlying table. First step is to click on the mailings tab. Next point, come over to start mail merge. Hit the down arrow, and we're going to click on Normal Word Document. Next, we're going to select the recipients. Hit the down arrow, and we're going to use an existing list, which is another way of saying that we have already created 
our underlying table. So we're going to click on Use Existing List. And then we're going to browse for our underlying table. We found our underlying table, which is called Class Address Table. Click on Open. Next, what we want to do is click on Edit a Recipient List. We want to make sure that the proper list has been brought in. And as you can see here, this is the correct name of the table. These are our field names. All of our field names are listed. So we should be set to go. Click on OK. And now come back into our document. We're going to go into this cell right here, directly underneath Service 4. And what we're going to do is come over to this icon right here, where it says Insert Merge Field. Hit the down arrow. And we're going to click on First Name. Hit the space bar. Click Insert Merge Field again, and then click on Last Name. In the cell directly beneath, we're going to come back to Insert Merge Field. Click on Address. Hit the space bar once. Give us our a little bit of space. Come back to Insert Merge Field and then click on Apartment. Come down to the next cell, Insert Merge Field, and we're going to click on City. Hit the space bar. Then we're going to insert state. Hit the space bar. And then insert our zip. Next, we're going to go up to our billing period. And in this spot right here where the cursor is blinking, we're going to click on insert merge field. We're going to click on the field from our underlying table that says from. We're going to click on this cell right here. Go back to insert mage merge field. And then click on the field name 2. It's our end point for the bill. Next, directly underneath account number, we're going to place from the underlying table the field named account. Directly underneath please pay by, we're going to insert the field pay by. This is the date that the bill is, is due. And lastly, in this cell directly beneath Amount Due, we're going to insert the field Name Amount Due. And what, we, what you're going to notice here is that our field names from the underlying tables all have brackets surrounding them. Our first name, last name, address, apartment, city and state. Those brackets signify a field name. Our account is a left bracket, closing bracket, pay by. So our field names have brackets surrounding them.
that we've inserted from our underlying table. But what you usually want to do is actually preview your results to make sure you have the proper spacing so to make sure you haven't made a mistake. So you can click on preview results and lo and behold your bill begins to appear. Here's the first record. Ken BA, 9 Smith Street, Providence, Rhode Island. Billing period from 9-1 through 9-30. His account number one. He needs to pay his bill by 10-27 and the amount due is $100. Sarah over here to give you your next record. Keep on clicking it. We only have eight records. And you can see that all of the information has been brought up. At this point in time, what, what we're going to do is click on Finish Mail Merge hit the down arrow here. I like to usually take another look at the results. So you're going to click on edit individual document. You have the ability to merge to a new document all the bills. Click on OK. And what you can see is that you would have bills for all eight customers. A separate bill for each of our eight customers. You could send this information then to a printer and we are all set to go. Thank you.